How do you pick colours for a colour pencil drawing? Let's find out. Hi, my name's Gemma and I want to help you improve your art skills. If it's your first time here, don't forget to click the subscribe and the notify bell so you never miss an art tutorial. A question I get asked a lot when people first start using colour pencils for their drawing is how do you know which colour to pick? When you've got loads of blues, how do you know which blue is the right blue? I'm going to show you three different methods that you can use to pick your colours so you can find out which one is right for you. So the first method I want to show you is using an app. This is available on both iOS and Android and I'll pop a link in the description to the app. So the app is the colour pencil picker. I've got my iPad here and I will show you what it looks like. This is the app here and you can see the first screen is a huge list of loads of different coloured pencil sets. So what you can do is select the colour pencil set that you have. I'm going to say I have the Polychromos 60s and then you can look in your images and select an image. So I'm going to have a look at this lady here and you can see straight away that it's got this little, what's it called? Crosshair. crosshair. It's got this little crosshair um, so you can see where it's getting the colour look up from. So up here it's saying that that colour there is cobalt green on its own and then if we go down here it's saying that this little section here is a mixture of cold grey 2 and light ultramarine. So you can kind of have a look around images and see all of the different colours that it says is in here. Now one thing I have noticed about the app is that if you select a smaller colour pencil pack it isn't as accurate, I'll show you. So if I say that I've got the Polychromos 36s, it does the odd random thing, like if you see where the crosshair is at the moment, it's saying to make that colour, you use red and brown, which I'm not convinced on. But on the most part it is pretty good and you can get a good idea of what colours are in there if you're struggling to see them. So that's the first method. The Colour Picker app is a good little app and it is free which is a bonus however it does nag you a bit to buy their full version and if you want to get the third colour you either have to pay for the pro version or you have to watch an ad and then you get it for a little while. Ultimately I would say that this is a good little app but it's not perfect so you very much have to take the colours it suggests with a pinch of salt and still use your imagination. It's wise to use it more as a rough guide rather than exact instructions. You're not using it like it's a paint by numbers. If it was me using the app then I would use the crosshair, have a look around the photo, see which colours come up time and time again, get those colours out ready and then draw from there and you'll find that there are colours that you haven't got included in that so you'll have to use your creativity a little bit but ultimately that is where your own artistic style will come into it. Method two is also software based so let's go to the PC this time. All I've done so far is open paint. I've chosen paint because it's free, but if you have Photoshop, then obviously you could use that as well. The other thing I've done is just open an image that I want to try and find the colors in. The first thing I'm going to do is just pull out this here, just to give myself a little bit of space. And then I'm gonna draw some circles on this side over here. Now I've got all of my circles out here, I can start using the dropper tool up here to select colours that I can see. What I'm aiming for is mid-tones that I can work from. So let's look for a mid-tone in the sky, probably about here, and then fill that circle. Back to the dropper tool, let's pick a mid-tone from about here. And keep doing that for all of the main colours. So with this photo, there are a lot of colours and you can do as many or as few as you like. I'm gonna leave it there just to give you an idea. So now we've got these colors. This blue here from the sky, that's a mid-tone and you can see it goes much darker but also goes much lighter. I can now offer up my pencils to these swatches and as I draw the sky in, I can go a bit firmer when it's darker or maybe mix in a bit of a darker blue up here 
or go a bit lighter on the lighter section of sky but it just helps me to pick out individual colors rather than trying to look at a gradient if you're doing this with photoshop it works in exactly the same way but you don't have to draw the circles that's the gist of method two so it gives you an idea of the block color but it doesn't help you with the actual gradients that you can see but it does help you single out the base color all right, on to method three and the method that I personally use, which is swatches. So the first thing that I do whenever I get a new set of color pencils or any pencils is I draw out swatches. When you first get pencils, although you can see the color roughly on the pencil and you can see the color of the lead, you don't really know what that's gonna look like when it gets down on the paper. So the purpose of swatching is to draw them out so you can actually see what they are and you can see on my swatches I swatch from as light as I can possibly go to as dark as I can possibly go and then I write the color underneath then I can use this to compare to the photo I'm drawing to make this a bit clearer let's talk through a photo and I will look at my swatches and tell you what I see and hopefully it'll make it a bit clearer what I mean for this video I'm using my polychromos swatches but the beauty of this method is it will work for any colour pencils because you can do swatches for any. So let's start by having a look at the C area down here. The main blue that I can see is actually cobalt green and mixed in with that I can see probably some bluish turquoise. I should mention that the benefit of art and the key thing with art I would say is that you're not necessarily trying to create a photorealistic copy. I think if you want a photorealistic copy you should print out a photo. So we're sort of aiming for creating an artist's impression of what we can see. If you take a look right down this bottom edge here I would say my closest match is Indenthrine Blue and then in the splashes of the waterfall here I would say there is some white in there, also some light ultramarine and there's a little bit of pink up here so again looking at my swatches I would say it's sort of a mixture between coral and violet and then back to the blues around here there's also some bluish turquoise and there's some thalo blue around here as well take a look at the sky again comparing to the swatches I would say that this area here is orange glaze and then there's a few hints of terracotta around here and in this cloud this is a much lighter yellow which is more of a cream maybe a cream with a hint of cadmium yellow so you can see how I'm looking at my swatch comparing it to the reference photo and using this to match colors and hopefully that gives you a bit of an idea on how I select my colors as I say we're not aiming for perfection so swatch out your colors and it will be easier to see if you compare them to your reference photo which colors are in there you'll also be able to see if you can see there's a little bit of one and a little bit of another you'll know to blend those two colors all right so there were three different methods on how you you can pick colors for color pencil drawings. I hope this has helped to give you the confidence that you need to start drawing with color pencils. And as always, if you found this video helpful, give it a like and don't forget to click the subscribe and the notify bell so you never miss an art tutorial. Happy drawing guys, I'll see you in the next one.